السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته زي ما احنا شايفين طبعا فيديو عن الأكتروس نقط الصوت شوية كده عشان نعرف دلوقتي طبعا هو فك فرامل اليد هو الفيديو هيتكلم عن تغيير أورينج جنب أو أورينج أكس خلفي تمام هو دلوقتي عمل ايه فك فرامل اليد هيبتدي بقى يرفع الأكس الخلفي أو المحور الخلفي If it is completely released, both wheels move in different directions. Remove the plug and the pressure switch. With the appropriate screw, you can now mechanically lock the differential lock. The screw should be at least 60 millimeters long. If both wheels then move in the same direction, it will be fine. Now we can remove both wheels from the specific axle. We do not need to explain to you how this is done. When the wheels are off, you can bleed the oil from the bell hub. Remove the oil from the bell hub. You can bleed the oil from the bell hub. Remove the oil from the bell hub. You can bleed the oil from the bell hub. Remove the oil from the bell hub. You can bleed the oil from the bell hub. Remove the oil from the bell hub. You can bleed the oil from the bell hub. Remove the oil from the bell hub. You can bleed the oil from the bell hub. Remove the oil from the bell hub. You can bleed the oil from the bell hub. Remove the oil from the bell hub. Please note: Do not forget to place an oil pan under the bell hub. Then simply turn the axle until the oil bleeds through is pointing downwards. The oil can now flow into the pan when you have removed the screw. Remove the oil from the bell hub. Then simply turn the axle until the oil bleeds through is pointing downwards. The oil can now flow into the pan when you have removed the screw. Remove the oil from the bell hub. Then simply turn the axle until the oil bleeds through. Finally, replace the screws. They should be sufficiently tightened with a wrench. The zit nizzle bil kamil. Bagmil ina na ib rabbat tani al rabbat al al tabbatin tani. You can then dismantle the hub and the rear axle shaft. Firstly, these three screws should be removed. 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 Firstly, these Simply screw three other screws deep enough into the thread. Three screws here, like this, in the place we are seeing. So I can remove the part that is called the hub. Screw three other screws deep enough into the thread. So I can remove the part that is called the hub. Screw three other screws deep enough into the thread. So I can remove the part that is called the hub. Screw three other screws deep enough into the thread. So I can remove the part that is called the hub. The three screws have done their service. Then simply unscrew them and put them aside. Then simply unscrew them and put them aside. The oil retainer ring is then removed. 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 The new oil retainer ring and the right grease should, of course, have been ordered beforehand. The part numbers are shown below. Firstly, grease the part where the oil retainer ring is fitted. This is the only way to ensure that in future there is no leakage. Then place the oil retainer ring and thoroughly grease. Now the bell hub can be replaced. This requires some power. Then shake a little. It fits. The three fixing screws also have to be returned to their place. This time you also require a torque wrench. Please tighten all three screws with 80 newton meters. طبعا كل الرباط بيكون بعزم ثابت يعني بعزم معين مش مش حسب ال إن هو خلاص تقيلة معايا كده أو الرب الرباط تقيل معايا خلاص لا تم تمانين نيوتن شرط إن هو كلهم تمانين نيوتن. Then you have to again turn the hub. كده بقى إيه أكيد أحط الزيت تاني أضيف الزيت تاني بتاع الجنب ده اللي هو زيت المناول. 
طبعا الكمية بتاعته اللي هنا مثلا صفيناها ممكن نحطها تاني او لو هغير بحط الكمية بتاعتي اللي انا هحطها في في المناول ده او الجنب Place the oil filler container at the oil filler opening at the center of the barrel. طبعا بفضل بفتح الطبتين عشان يفرغ الهواء اللي جوه يعني عشان انا بزود كده الهواء اللي جوه يخرج من يخرج من الطبه الثانيه اللي هي المفروض بتاعه الدريننج او الدرين اللي هي بتاعه بفضي منها زيت بس كده هو حاطها في الوضع اللي هو اللي فوق بحيث ان هي ما تنزلش منها بس برضه تفضي تخرج الهواء تمام بس طبعا هو عامل وعاقه مخصوص كده حاجه عبوه مخصوصه بحيث ان هي ايه اسهل في Before you close the bell hub, screws both oil retainer rings should be exchanged. Here you have to be quick. Please ensure that when you remove the filler container, the oil is lost. Remove the filler container. 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 Remove the filler نطبق تاني اول اركب الكاوتش بتاعي طبعا او العجل بتاعي واربط بنزل بقى اعمل اشيل المسمار اللي انا كنت حاطه واركب تاني ال the differential lock has to be released again firstly exchange the oil retainer ring on the pressure lever before you install it then take the screw out A short check. The wheels rotate again correctly. You can install the pressure lever. Carefully tighten it. Please note: do not forget to replace the plug. Now you can lower the jack. You no longer need it. Finally, we only have to check the oil amount in the axle. Take out the oil filler screw. Normally, oil should flow out of the opening. As you can see, this is not the case. Therefore, you should add oil, just enough until it begins to flow out. Then replace the oil filler screw and tighten with 120 newton meters. Then check the oil level in the drive-through axle housing. Loosen beforehand the oil filler screw. In this case, everything is fine. As you can see, oil is flowing out. Replace the screw and tighten with 120 newton meters. Finally, you should carry out a short test drive. Only then can you test whether the exchanged O-ring is tight. ارجع تاني طبعا واعمل تشيك نهائي ان انا اشوف كده في زيت تاني ولا خلاص كده تمام then back to the pit هيبان طبعا لو في زيت تسريب عندي بيظهر على الجنت من الداخل one last look finished كده تمام عندي مفيش مشكله طبعا مفيش زيت لو في زيت هيظهر عندي على الجنت هنا اتمنى يكون الفيديو عجبكم ولو في اي تعليق منتظره في التعليقات تحت ولو الفيديو عجبك ما تنساش تعمل لايك ولو مش مشترك معنا في القناه تعمل سبسكرايب تشترك معنا في القناه وتفعل الجرس عشان يصلك كل فيديو جديد والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته